Hello everyone, my name is Adrian Stang and I'm with GPL Odorizers. I wanted to give you a quick rundown today on the componentry for a GPL 750. Here on my left we have the electronics cabinet. Inside of this cabinet right here is where the brains of the unit are. We've got a, a 7 inch touchscreen HMI. Um, this is the, the brain of the unit. We also have an option for a 4 inch controller uh, in this package which will save you a little money if money is tight. Additionally, we do have the option for a modem that has an antenna included um, for remote communications in the field. This will allow you to monitor the activity of your odorizer um, by pulling up a web page. Um, this is an optional add-on to the unit. Moving on from the electronics, furthermore on my left here, we have the mechanicals enclosure. Now starting on the outside of this enclosure, Beneath here, we start off with a stain, fully stainless steel bodied um, 10 micron filtration uh, for the entrance into our odorizer. We've got a root valve for locking out the unit um, and for maintaining the uh, filter here. Once we come in the cabinet, we start off with our liquid regulator here. This is a dome fed pressure sensing regulator. Um, I'll get back to that in a moment. Uh, next, we have our normally closed solenoid. We have a metering valve. Tube comes over to our dip, drip chamber here, which houses the optical eyes for our optical comparator. Now, the brain for the optical comparator is housed in this uh, explosion-proof containment here, and uh, we have a couple different models of that that we use. Now, the reason I men the, mentioned the dome feed uh, pressure sensing on this regulator is because of this line right here that preloads your regulator. Now this will sense pipeline gas as the outlet of the drip chamber here on the bottom gets connected to pipeline and senses the gas pressure in the uh, pipeline. This means that as the odorizer is operating, if you have fluctuations in the pressure inside of your pipeline, which is typical, the odorizer will not have to be reset for those pressure fluctuations. All we need here is the differential as is standard with the GPL 750. Uh, and that is a quick rundown of the componentry and a small touch of function on how the GPL 750 works.